Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is a short video to show you how to add bookmarks to a list in Digo, how to move bookmarks around in Digo, and to add intro text fields and concluding text fields so you can make a Digo list into an annotated bibliography. Okay, I've run a search for a topic I'm interested in. Um, internet filtering laws in schools. Let's say I want to use this as part of my annotated bibliography. I've already installed, D installed Digo. So I'm going to click on Digo. I'm going to open up Digo here. And this is Chrome, so it's not Firefox. Firefox, it would have a toolbar across the top, but in Chrome, it's just over here on the side. I can tag it a couple different things. Tag filters. Internet filters, internet safety, I see is over here. Um, and then I'm going to call it English 102 project because I am going to use it for English 102. And here's my description, the first paragraph of my description um, for this project. For some classes, you would have a parentheses first, followed by another paragraph. That includes uh, summary, critique, and then um, why why it's a good source, the authoritative analysis of the of the source itself. Okay, and so we've had a couple tags that we've used here across here. These are recommended tags. So here I'm going to add it to a list. If you don't have any lists, you can you, you can click on a button that says Create List, which is at the bottom of the list. Uh, I have one, so I'm going to call it English 102 Project. I highly recommend you call it Annotated Bibliography. And I'm going to save the bookmark. So here, if I go over here to my library, which I already have open, I'm going to refresh it. So I can see this new one here. And I'm going to see that I have my um, tags here. And click on this to go back to that link. Okay. Or I can scroll down here to my lists and go to English 102, which is the list I just added this to. Okay, it's not really there it is, it's shown up here at the bottom. Okay, right there at the bottom. Um, so here's the next step. If I want to put these in order, if I want to put these in order, uh, let's say they need to be alphabetized. Well, C over here comes before G. I'm going to literally grab it and move it up. Okay, and then H, G, H. Here's another C. Creative Commons goes after copyright, etc. You get the picture. There are a lot of other options here too. More actions. You can take it out of the list, you can add it to a blog post, whatever you want to do. I'm going to show you also how to add a section. For our annotated bibliography, we need to have an introduction section. And we also need to have a concluding section. Okay, You can just click on it to add your introduction. And then if you want to add another section, we can call it conclusion. Conclusion. And we can literally drag it with your mouse to the end of your list. It's really that easy. Okay, and then whenever you submit your annotated bibliography to me electronically, all you're going to do is provide the link up here, which is going to be your usernames here, the word list is here, diga.com is here, and then as I said, you should name your list annotated bibliography for the current project. Okay, this was a short video on how to make a list in Digo, add text boxes to your list, and move things around inside of the list. Thank you.